Hello everyone, welcome to this video to integrate, to learn how to integrate Salesforce Marketing Cloud with uh, Shopify. So I will just show you quickly how you can integrate this two systems. So the first things to do will be uh, to uh, go into user. So you will go in setup and then you will go into user and you can click on user over here. And what you will have to do is to uh, give a permission to your user. So you can, you can click manage role and you can click edit role and just make sure that you have the grant the, the user access to the web services. So you can click on save. Once it's saved, there is another step um, to do. This step will be to make sure that you are an API user. So you can click on edit and you can click API user. So I'm an API user, so it should be um, fine. Then what I can do is go in apps, install package, and I will create a new package for my integration. So I will call that Shopify, Shopify integration. Okay, I click on save. Once I've clicked on save, I can add a new component. So it will be an API integration, server to server, and we will give some uh, different permission. So I need to remember which one we uh, do, but basically we will do list and subscriber, audience, marketing cloud connect, data extension, tracking events, uh, callback here, subscription as well, uh, accounts, package, user, OTT channel, Books, so it should be fine. Yep, so I can click on save. So I have my package ready for integration. Now I can go in Shopify and I can click on go to the Shopify store. Here I will write Marketing Cloud, and in Marketing Cloud, as you can see, this is the application that we will use to integrate the system. I will click Add App and Install App. So uh, this is loading now, and I think they will ask me, yes, uh, to reactivate my plan because I'm on a trio. Up. Okay, so it's good. Now I'm going in general. My client ID will be this one. My client secret will be that one. And then my account ID will be in company setting, account setting, and uh, account ID. Oh, perfect. Now I need to find the subdomain. So this it will be this one. Tuck, tuck, tuck. I will put this, tuck, and that. Okay, now I can click on save change. Just, uh, we save the change. Now we can click on application. Here, I can activate the auto-synchronization between the two systems, Marketing Cloud and Shopify. Here, I will be able to refresh uh, the product and also the customer. So basically, I can, I can synchronize the order, the product, the customer, the subscriber, and the abandoned checkout data. And I can also go manually. So as you can see, in my Shopify store, if I just go into product, I've created three products. And if I go just here in product, I can click sync product. And here I should be able to uh, synchronize three products. Okay. And now if I just show you quickly the Shopify, if I go in customer, I have a range of customers that have entered information about, and I will be able to click here and synchronize my customer. And now, I, as you can see, I'm synchronizing all my customers from Shopify to uh, Marketing Cloud. And as it's automated, I do I do it the first time because I do it from scratch, but after it will be recurring and we will have an auto-synchronization. So I can, I can close that. Yep. And now if I just show you in Marketing Cloud, if I go into subscriber and data extension, click data extension. Here, as you can see, I have some data extension related to Shopify. So I will have uh, a customer data extension, product, and product variant. So basically, here I will be only interested into product. As I don't have any data related to checkout, uh, abandoned checkouts, then uh, I don't like Shopify didn't create an integration. But here, as you can see, I can find my product uh, from Shopify directly into Marketing Cloud with. Uh, uh, like the following variable, so ID, image, title, description, vendor, price tag. Uh, and I can also find information related to the customer. So I will be able to find their email address, the shop, the first name, the last name, and all the information related to the customer. So now that I have this information, I will be able to go into Marketing Cloud and build some uh, really specific journey that will be related, for example, to uh, when someone do an add to cart but doesn't uh, proceed with the transaction and just check out and all of this kind um, of journey that are related to e-commerce. So thank you for watching this video. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.